Hey, this is Rick from Outdoor Emergencies at HikingEmergencyBeacon.com. And today I finished my fifth of five tests on the Garmin GPS Map 67i. And this was the most extreme test that I did. But before I tell you about all that, please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. Now this test is vastly different than the first four. And this is based on a subscriber comment or question or request. And basically, I think they're into outdoor sports, whether it's motorsports, whether it's motorcycles or ATVs. And what he was asking about was if you have this on 80% brightness, always on, two minute tracking, uh, what else is there? I mean, map sharing and let's see, backlight. Uh, so backlight is always on. And again, the screen brightness is at, he said 75%, but there wasn't at 75%. It was only 70 or 80%. So I went the 80%. So what I did is I drove to Kansas from Oklahoma. It was about a seven and a half hour drive both ways. And so I turned it on. I did a two minute tracking. I made sure my map share was on on my phone. I sent myself a link and I was able to see all my tracks I laid down from Colorado all the way to Kansas, actually Manhattan, Kansas, and then on the way back. And what I saw was that, that it lost around, I thought around 22 to 25% on the way there. On the way back when I was finished, it actually came up to 44%. Yeah, it dropped to 44%. So basically, if I can do my math correct here, that is 53, I'm sorry, I can't do my math correct. That is, so 25% is 50, add another two, so 27% each way. So if you think about this, for, for the seven and a half hour drive each way, it really came down to about losing 3% of the battery life per hour. And again, it's like 15 hours, it was 80% brightness, it was always on, two minute tracking, and it really rocked it. I, you know, hey, so maybe I shouldn't say rocked it, but uh, it really did well. And everything I've seen so far from what Garmin has said that this 66i will do with the battery life is absolutely true. Everything from, you know, the basics of, if you just have it on the default settings and with the inReach, It'll last about six and a half days. I saw that it actually lasted about nine and a half days when you use GPS mode instead of the GNSS mode. And so you can see all of the tests. There's a playlist for the battery life test and you'll see that right here. It'll also be in the description below. So if you're out and you need the bright screen and you're out all day, whether you're hiking on your motorcycle, ATV, whatever it might be, I mean, this still had 44% left after 15 hours of intense use. So I think you should feel comfortable with that. And, and you know, if you can charge up at night, whether you have a portable charger or whether you can charge in your tent or at a hotel or whatever it might be, the 67i is really incredible for the battery life over the 66i. And again, as you all know, if you've seen any of my videos, I was very disappointed with the 66i's battery life. Not the case with the 67i. Will they make improvements? Will it get better? I bet you that it will. But it's done really well. And I was really impressed what it did on this test when I had it on all the time. The screen never went dark. I was tracking every two minutes and verifying that I was getting those two minute tracks and looking at it on MapShare. Awesome battery life. So I highly recommend the 67i. It was harder for me to say that with a 66i because the battery life wasn't very good. 67i, absolutely different. It still doesn't compare to the Mini 2. The Mini 2 blows the 67i away, but that's okay. If you want to know more about the Garmin Enrich Mini 2, you can see a video here on the top right, and I'll have more information in the description below. But that's it. That wraps up my test. Unless somebody comes up with a great question or another request that's different than what I've already tested, I'm not testing the battery life anymore. I've proven to myself that what Garmin has said about the battery life on the 67i is true. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching these videos. I hope you enjoy it. There are videos on the battery life, of course, and you'll see that in the description below and on the training playlist for the 67i. If you have any questions, comments, criticisms, whatever it might be, 
please leave a comment below because I'll respond really quick. Can I say within 24 hours is normally a lot faster than that. And that really helps me to do better videos in the future. All right, that wraps it all up. So thanks for watching and please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I upload new videos. And if you'd like to support Hiking Emergency Beacon, there's a link in the description below. And I'll see you back out here in Colorado on the next video.